So we're gonna be making Pong in processing. So let's start by making a window. And I guess we'll just make it uh, 800 pixel pixels sorry, by um, 600 pixels. And let's create a black background. Okay, and now we run. We should have a black window. Now start by making a, a paddle class. And what we want to store is the X of the paddle, the Y of the paddle, the height, so we'll say paddle height. And then uh, I can also say final and velocity, I guess. Let's just set that to 5 for now. Let's create a constructor. Okay, and then you can see this dot x equals x, this dot y. Basically, you're just setting each variable, like from the constructor, uh, from the constructor, into uh, what's in here, what's in the class itself. Anyway. Okay. Uh oh, did I? Oh, uh, okay, I can make this sign. Just like that. Okay. Now let's draw this. So void draw. No, we can actually replace it as void. Can um, uh, can call this um. So we want to make it white. So we fill it with white color. And let's make the rectangle centered. And then let's draw the rectangle x y. No, actually, I comes first. Maybe I should change this as well, just so that it's a little more consistent. Okay, and then. Uh, if we create two paddles, one for the right, one for the left, so paddle left equals new paddle. Let's say 20. No, we should say like 30. Um, and then I guess we'll just put it in the middle, so 300. Well, that should work. And then paddle right equals new paddle. 3, no, should be 7 or 7 because on the other side, and then everything else can be the same. Let's draw with these paddles, so left dot display and right dot display. Now we should have two paddles. Perfect. And uh, so now I guess we should implement movement, so let's get a key pressed function in here. Also a key released. And let's create some variables to check which keys are being pressed down at this time. At, uh, so, W key, S key, up key, down key, s no, not space. We don't need S space, I don't think, for now. Okay, now that should work. So, if uh, key equals W or key equals or case w, just in case it's a caps lock on, that'll protect against that. Then we can say uh, wp equals true. And I'll just copy this, the same thing for the s key. Okay, and then the other two is a little bit different because you can use key code. Then um, up key equals true. Or if the key code equals down. Then the down key equals true. And then we pretty much do the same thing for the key release, except instead of setting the true, it's going to false. So this way, when we press a key down, then release it, we're not going to keep pressing the key down. Okay, now I think uh, to make this simpler, we'll just have two functions for each keys. So. Void move 
Let's just say, uh, letter. No, what is the W? That's that makes more sense. Uh, and then void move arrow. Okay, and then you can say if up key. Um, what would be y minus no? I think it's minus equals velocity. If uh, down key mm, y plus equals velocity. Same thing here. If oh wait, I actually reversed these. Oops, daisies. So we'll just change this to uh, W key minus two S key. And oh, I didn't. I forgot to call these fun the functions from the draw. So left. No, we use the W S keys for the left paddle, and then the right paddle will have the arrow keys. And then if we run this. Okay, so that is working. We'll change, we, we might change the speed later, but yeah, uh, I can move these inventory. Now we still have a problem, they can still move off the screen, so let's fix that. So we should say, if y is greater than, let's just say 20, I guess, that should be fine. And if y is less than what was it? Oh, we made 600, so let's say 580. Let's just test it on the left paddle first and uh, see if that makes sense. Okay, so it's still going out a, little, a lot, so let's just try like... Um, let's say the paddle height, maybe. Let's try that first, and then we'll do the same thing with the bottom. Oh, okay, so that's not good. No, I can't even move it. Let's just try... Wait, what did I set the paddle height to? 120. Let's just try 100... Uh, no, let's just try, like... Okay, you know what? We'll just try to do some trial and error, I guess. Doesn't really hurt. Okay. Uh, maybe we should try... 80, perhaps? That might be the magic number, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. That seems pretty good. Uh, so let's do that, uh, and then if this is, let's subtract 80, so 20, same thing here, if y is greater than 80, then you can do this, otherwise you can't move, so let's go down there. If y is less than 520, then do this, okay, so now we should have two functional panels that can't be moved off the screen. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Um, next, in the next video, we'll probably get the ball working. Uh, maybe just like get it bouncing off, and then after that, we'll probably implement collision, so we can actually um, like play pong. And then I guess after that, we'll make a main menu. Anyway, thanks for watching episode one.